Lord impacts the community of OE, Church Without Walls, Skid Row. How can law enforcement serve both groups of people in the city of Los Angeles, downtown Los Angeles specifically, as it relates to those who live in Los and Skid Row, with compassion? When the law dwellers are calling to deal with homelessness, how do you enforce laws that at the same time have compassion? And I ask that because compassion is a complex thing. It says, but before Jesus healed a man, he was moved with compassion. Whatever moves you, that's what you're going to lead with, right? As it relates to the SMART team, the officer said, if the SMART team is available, and we know that well because Carlos O'Connor was killed because the SMART team was not available when he was chased off the billboard. About a year ago, the Skid Row community declared a state of emergency. Lasha came out with their report. Homelessness has risen 20%. We could have told you all that. And as you can tell by the LGBTQ statistics, black folks are the top of every bad statistic. This is, the, this is the context by which I always come up here. There's always pain in my voice because we make the list of every bad statistic. For instance, Black folks are 9% of the population of the city of Los Angeles, 40% of homelessness. So essentially, when you're dealing with Skid Row, you're dealing with the black community, predominantly, not exclusively, right? How do you think black folks feel when they're mentally ill and they see a police officer, given the history? Again, I heard the officer say last week, this is not only about Skid Row. We know that, but Skid Row is a microcosm of the whole city of Los Angeles. And remember, it was said earlier that Reagan threw everyone on the street, all the mentally ill people. So I say this, when Reagan threw everyone on the street, that made the state the primary predator and not drug dealers. They are the secondary predators. So we need to deal with the primary issue. And deal with the and who 